backing up to tape is the only safe way to protect your backup from ransomware and the traditional method is to connect your tape hardware to windows or linux server but in this video we show you how to connect a tape drive directly to qnap let's take a look at the hardware setup our setup uses a high-end qnap 1887 but any model that supports a sash expansion card will work the only sash card though that works is the one from qnap since the drivers for it are built into QNAP. We have used a quantum tape drive in our setup and the mini SES cable was included. The hardware setup is basically as simple as installing the HBA card and connecting the cable. Let's install the card first. Open your QNAP and uh, locate the PCI slot and install the HBA card into this slot. Now the SES mini cable that you see here, um, it's a sort of square cable. So there's nothing that prevent you from putting it the wrong way let's see the right way of uh, putting the cable in so the blue tab that you see here should be on top okay push it all the way in till you hear a click sound and that's it with the hardware setup done let's move on to the qnap qts screen and see what we need to do here now let's look at the qts configuration i'm logged in here and first we'll see if we can do some sort of a pass through and if this HBA can be allocated to a container station or um, a virtual machine. So I uh, look for the hardware resources and I see under the tab there is no HBA card showing here. What it means is that you cannot do any sort of a pass through because you cannot allocate your HBA card to, uh, uh, to a container or to a VM even though it's um, all configured and ready to use. What you need is a software called Archiver P5. I've installed it from the App Store already and activated a trial license. So I open Archiver and I go to the backup tab and I look for the storage manager and I try to see if I can find my um tape drive it shows it right there i click on next and it uh, asks me to uh, label my media i label it as backup and i label it now that the tape drive is configured i can use the backup wizard to backup my data uh, i select the data that i want to backup and I select the destination which is a single tape drive and finally I go to the schedule select time and this is it your job is complete you can start the job now and see the progress